What's up guys, how are you doing? I hope everything is going well. Uh, we are doing another unboxing showcase uh, for another Ben Presto statue for the My Hero Academia, the My Amazing Hero lines. Um, this is volume six, which this is for this specific character. It is Shoto Aizawa. Um, Aizawa is one of the teachers on the My Hero Academia anime show. Uh, he's got an incredible power, which of course is called Erasure. Um, basically, he can erase the superpower of the individual that he's looking at, which is why, I guess that's why his eyes are like that, because he has to constantly look at them in order to make sure that their power doesn't work. Uh, if you've seen the anime, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, but this is for um, the statue. As you can see, I've been already been twirling around the box. Um, for the particular type of dynamic pose that he is being displayed at. Um, but the box is awesome. It's a small little box, but there are pieces to put together, as you have may have already um, figured out in regards to some of the videos that I've already put out. So this is the front, Ben Presto right here, the My Hero Academia label. Again, this is volume six. Um, there's the top of the box and the bottom showing, of course, 15 and older, as this is just a statue. This is the, um, the barcode, I guess, that they utilize for it. I believe I picked this one up at uh, GameStop when it was on sale. Uh, this was a while ago, of course, but let's do this unboxing. So, of course, I've already cut the tape at the bottom. I typically do that with all of my boxes just because it's just my, my nitpick thing, I guess. So here you go, this is the insert. It is a cardboard insert. Everything is bagged on the inside. Um, you can easily just slide that out. In most cases, you can easily slide that out. And then you just unravel what is in here. So we have our stand pieces. Um, looks like there's part of his scarf type of thing. There's the body and the head. So let's go ahead and just put this all together. Alright guys, here we go. So here are all of the individual pieces. So there are two, four, six pieces in total. So let's just start with the base. Um, once again, is just finding the correct spots to insert um, the pegs into. One is, does look smaller than the other and we'll have that ready right then and there. So it's just a simple like blayish, blayish, blackish, grayish um, acrylic stand. Uh, here we have part of his scarf that I guess you're just going to have to wrap around. Um, looks like there are some pegged items. As you can see, this is where we're going to probably insert it. Same thing here and here are those pieces. Um, same idea. So there you go. That's like another peg slot. These are also peg slots as well. So that's probably going to go wrap around the neck area. Also, of course, if you guys are always lost since there are no instructions, just, you know, utilize the box to know where pieces will go. Uh, and we have here the body. Body looks really good. Um, look at all the details in the sculpt of the stress lines for the clothing. It's very well done. Um, his his uh, costume is very simple. I mean, it's just one simple like um, overlay of a of a jumpsuit, I guess. Um, got boots, got this nice silver paint going on at the, on the inside of it. Um, we have his belt. Paint looks really good. And there we go. That's it. So let's take a look at Aizawa's head. Looks awesome. The paint detail just in, you know, his, his beard, mustache. Look at the paint. The paint looks awesome in the, um, in the face so it looks it's very well done to have it more of a 3d scale statue so of course then we have the gold and the black that's all painted all within there that looks great hair looks awesome this nice flowing of the hair and neck looks really long but that's probably because this is the peg right here that's going to be inserted into the body so let's start with that so i'm sure we're going to have to put this on first here are the peg slots that you see from this piece here. So 
just make sure you size it right and it should insert easily. And there we go. So that sits in the place right there. Not too bad. Yeah, there you go. And let's insert, am I gonna insert another piece? Yes. So let's take this piece right here and we're gonna insert it in, so one's larger and smaller than the other. So let's go this way, I think. Yep, oh, so I should have inserted that in first. So we'll plug that in first, then we'll plug it into the body. There we go. And looks like there's that ball notch right there, which if you look in his hand, it's also in there as well. So that's probably where it's gonna kind of snap into place. So it holds right there. And I'm guessing on the other hand, yep. So on the other hand, the same idea. We're going to, and there's the hole for that right there. I guess we'll just slide that in so it's, there, yep, there you go. So there we go, he's holding his scarf just like so. And then we'll work on inserting the head. So the head looks pretty simple. As long as you just, yep, there you go. Slides right in just like that. That looks great. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and put them on the stand. Uh, as we see here, there's the notch for where that peg will go into place and slides right in. So he is elevated in the air, which is awesome. And let's take a look. So there we go. There is Aizawa eraser head. Uh, that's his superhero name, but that looks awesome. I love how his face is already tucked into it or his coll um, or collar or his scarf is. Um, it's awesome how we have this nice flowing sculpt of a scarf going all around um, and, it, and of course as he's, hold, as he's holding it. So once again another dynamic pose. Looks great. I think it's awesome. I love this character. This character is really cool as well. Um, but the sculpt here, that's this whole thing right here looks great. It looks amazing. I mean if you don't have a nice sculpt in the face and the detail in there. I mean, it, it, everything else just doesn't look as good anymore. So this looks awesome. Posing them in, or taking pictures of them in different poses, not poses, but different um, angles. Also, it just looks great. So just for comparison, I took out Midoriya and Midoriya looks great next to him because he is much shorter than Aizawa. So I think overall, he, it, it scales very well. Look at that, there we go. Um, and just as from teacher to student, that looks awesome. And we have Todoroki. Todoroki, perfect, looks awesome. Same type, look, it's like they're both in this uh, attack formation as well. And we have All Might. All Might is definitely much bigger with Aizawa. Yes, in terms of height, they might be um, close to it, but with these stat, with this scale in the statue, it is actually really, really good. Very, very well done. But there we go. There's some comparisons right there. So I hope you guys like this particular statue. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen so far. I hope you guys are into this um, statue line for Ban Presto. I think it looks amazing. So I hope you guys pick one up yourselves. So thank you guys very much for watching. Really appreciate it. As always, hit the like button if you like the video. At the same time, hit subscribe, check out my hunt videos and check out my other um, unboxing showcases that I've done so far in regards to pretty much anything that I've been picking up. So especially the Ben Presto statues, which I really enjoy. So hope you guys liked it. Thank you guys again. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys have been finding. And I hope to see you soon, as well as I hope to see you on the next hunt.